only $3. That's pretty pricey for me. Hey, are some penny pants? Well, I'm sorry, Trudy Pingleton. There were some extra charges. Some of your personal uh, stains. The crowd was pounding on a rock. We're home. Well, four o'clock. I guess you got detention again. Tracy Turnblad, mind your manners and say hello to our guests. Hello, Mrs. Pingleton. And you, Penny? Hello, Mrs. Pingleton. I mean, mother. Teenagers, they just love watching that corny Collins. Delinquents, it ain't right dancing to that color music. Don't be silly, it ain't colored. The TV's black and white. Oh. Hey gang, don't forget to watch Mom and Me next Thursday on Mother 
daughter did. I want to be Miss Kate Carey. Remember, a vote for me from you is a vote for me. <laughs> what an unexpected advent, Amber. Well, speaking of expecting the unexpected, our very own fun-loving and freewheeling Brenda will be taking a little leave of absence from the show. How long are you going to be gone for, Brenda? Just nine months, Corey. <laughs> well, it looks like we're going to have a spot here on the show for someone who's just as fun-loving, but maybe not quite as freewheeling. If you want to be one of the nicest kids in town, then come on down to the station tomorrow to audition. That'll be enough of that for one day. No one is auditioning for anything. This is true, Vlad! Penny, go tell your mother she wants you. She does? Oh, I better hurry. Bye, Tracy. Bye, Mrs. Turnblad. Whoa, ho, ho, ho! Rush now, what trumpet! Hi, old ladies. Since I got that new shipment of exploded bubble gum, business downstairs is moving. Mwah! How? Oh, my too funny one. Oh, stop it, Wilbur. You're the funny one. Daddy, tomorrow I'm going to audition to be on a TV show. You're going to have to go a lot farther than that to get around me, young lady. No one is auditioning for anything. And what did I tell you about that hair all ratted up like a teenage Jezebel? Mother, you are so 50s. Even our first lady, Jackie B. Kennedy, rocks her hair. Yeah? Well, you ain't no first lady, are you? She's a hair hopper, that's what she is. And it got her put in detention again. Wilbur, talk to her. Girls like Tracy, people like us. You know what I mean. They don't put people like us on television, except to be laughed at. Tracy, this TV thing. Do you really want it? It's my dream, Daddy. Then you go for it, baby! This is America! You gotta think big to me, baby! Being big is not the problem, Wilbur. When I was your age, my parents begged me to run away and join the circus. But I said no! That's your dream! I have dreams of my own. I dreamed of opening a chain of joke shops worldwide! <laughs> hey, still have only one. But one of these days, if I can just Figure out how to keep the air from leaking out of my sofa side poopy cushions. I'm gonna make a noise from around the world. Oh, <laughs> you follow your dream, baby. Now, uh, I am grabbing a orange crush and heading back down to the party. Uh -huh. I got the dream. And the love, baby. Tracy, where do you think you're going? I got a hamper full of laundry and my diet pills wearing off. But, Mama, I want to be famous. You want to be famous? Learn how to take blood out of Carpal Street. Now that's a skill you can take right to the bank. You think I want to spend my life washing and ironing and mending other people's clothes? No. I wanted to design them. I thought I'd be the next big thing in Brasiers. Well... <laughs> I guess you gotta be careful what you wish for. Now start folding. Oh. But all I was doing was watching Courtney Collins over Tracy's. Didn't I forbid you from listening to race music? <sighs> if the police ever locate your father, he'll punish you good. Your dancing was atrocious today, Amber. I'm willing to lie, cheat, and steal to win you that Miss Hairspray crown, but you have got to work with me. Now, let me at that zip. Oh, stop! That's no way to treat clean clothes. One day, you'll own endless Occidental laundry. Will you be ready? I hope not. Don't contradict me! Don't disobey me. Don't even think about going to that audition. Please! Please. No! no. Mother! Stop! Stop telling me what to do! Don't.
Those are all the candidates. <laughs> really? That's all? <laughs> Who would have known Baltimore girls were such skanks? <laughs> My, how this town has gone downhill since I was Miss Baltimore Crabs. <gasps> I thought we'd never get here. Stupid bus crash. All my life, I imagined what this place would look like. This isn't it. Excuse me, ma'am. Am I too late to audition? <laughs> Not too late, dear. Just too much. <laughs> Tracy, look, it's Link. Link Larkin, so near, yet so gorgeous. I know, guys. The girls were all over me. I honestly don't know how Rock Hudson does it. Oh, sorry, darling. Hope I didn't then you do. I can't hear the bells. Are you all right? Well, don't you hear the chimes? I don't hear anything. Can't you feel my heartbeat? My heart was unprepared when he tapped me and knocked me off my feet. One little touch, now my life's complete. Cause when he nudged me, love put me in a face. He yes, it hit me just like a ton of bricks. He yes, my heart burst, and now I know what life's about. One little touch, and love knocked me out. And
I'd seen her before. Who could miss her? <laughs> Aren't you usually in detention about now? <laughs> Okay. Hello, my name is Tracy Turner. 
ready too. Oh. Today's edition will feature Link Larkin singing the top 40 hits with It Takes Two. So let's get this party started! Mr. Turbine, quick! Come see what's on TV! Every single hundred gonna be important! It is! Oh no, the woman cruise ship has his shoes off again.
communist girl and just on the mouth with a possibly parted lips. I assure you, controversy is not what us at Ultra Clutch wish to promote. Negroes and chubby girls need to buy hairspray too, Mr. Spritzer. Mrs. Bonk Tussle, how do you plan on handling this? I plan to start by firing him. Velma, how can we fire Corny Collins from the Corny Collins show? <laughs> Why not? They use all the time on that. Mr. Spritzer, if you want to keep your audience, you need to keep up with the times. This show is fine. No way it is. Bringing Tracy on is just the beginning. I have some fantastic ideas for updating the show. Oh, I'm getting one of my sick headaches. Is there a place where I might lie down? Yeah, Velma, it is. It's time we started putting kids on the show that look like the kids that watch the show. Not while I'm producing it. Yeah, I think it might be time for some change there, too. Are you threatening me, Colin? Oh, Velma, you know me. Then again, I can always take the show to Channel 11. Professional. Um, who handled the Gabor sisters? Um, 
Well, who didn't? Mama, it's a creepy world up there. When things get tough, a girl needs her mother. Hon, I'll be right there beside you if that's what you want, and together we'll climb our way to the top. But can't we do it over the phone? I haven't left this apartment in over ten years. Hey, Mama, hey, Mama, look around. Everybody's looking too pretty to sound. Hey, Mama, hey, Mama, follow me. I know something, baby, that you want to set free. Let go, let go, let go, you have now. Feel lost with your love in your heart. You let go, 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 let go,
to be safe up there for, you know, us. <laughs> Don't worry, Cracker Boy. It's cool. So, what do you think, Blake? Well, I think they can know you is going to be a whole lot of adventure. Wow, imagine being invited to places by colored people. Oh, I'm just so I'm glad you do, oh my God. Come on, jump in. 
things I saw. Mama, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I have a sudden craving for chicken and waffles, so we stopped at Ruby's takeout along the way. Hi, everyone. I'm Tracy's mom. Hi. Oh, so you're what spawned that. Excuse me? <laughs> I guess you two are living proof that the watermelon doesn't fall very far from the vine. <laughs> yes. Tracy, be a deer and hold mommy's waffles. You've got everything. Got brains, talent, personality, but me? Just got this one chance to be seen nationwide. Tracy, Saturday is everything I've worked for, and I'm not gonna throw it away. But I wanna do this, and so should you. Link, stay, please. I'm sorry. But you and me together, I was just starting to think that maybe we It's getting too complicated. There's still Amber. Sorry, darling. I'm sorry, Tracy. Oh, Mama. How can I ever think that Link Larkin would ever like someone like me? Why wouldn't he? You're a beautiful girl. It's just like Eddie Fisher all over again. Mama, don't tease. I really liked him. I know, but boys are not the brightest things. But still, you give him time, and I'm sure he'll find out he's crazy about you. You have to say that. You're my mother. But I'm more than just your mother. I'm a woman in love, and we just know about this stuff. But Tracy, Lake could be right. You should really risk your career. I never would have gotten on a show if it wasn't for seaweed. You know what? No. It came back time. That's my girl. Okay, here's how it's gonna work. Tomorrow, everybody bring your mothers and sisters and meet around the corner from the station and make signs. Yes! And put words on them! <laughs> you and Lil Inez will go in first. Me and Mama will be right behind you. Excuse me? They can never shove us back out the door with us locking in. I'm sorry, Tracy, but no one said anything about me appearing on television. I'm sorry, but I cannot appear on television at my current weight. You can't 
let weight restrict your fate. Look at me, I'm on TV. Oh, but Miss Motormallow, you're a celebrity. Well, I'm a simple housewife of indeterminate girth. The bigger the girth, the more you're worth. Mr. Turnblad, you don't mind that the missus here is an ample American, do you? Not at all. I think of her as a prime real estate. Yeah, nice and roomy. You listen to me. Once upon a time, girl, I was just like you. Never let my extra large largesse shine. Hair was brown and nappy, never had no fun. I hid under a bushel, which is easier said than done. Then one day, my grandma, who was big and sound, she said, You gotta love yourself from the inside out. But just as soon as I learned how to strut my bony self,
Shall we make haste? Hold it, slicker man! We're keeping that rotund rabble rouser on ice. Hey, 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 what's this? I paid for everybody. But this can't do. Tracy Turnblad is herewith forthwith withheld without bail. She is to be moved to solitary confinement and kept there until further notice from the governor's office. So there. The governor's office? Miss Montessor? Manipulating our judicial system just to win a contest? It's un-American. Don't make this harder for yourselves. Move out peacefully. I'm not leaving here without my boss. It's okay, Daddy. They can't keep me here forever. Besides, got a lot to think about. I might as well do it in solitary refinement. I am counting to three, and then I'm rearresting you all for illegal trespass. Come on, guys. Let me hold what you do for a year. You touch one hair on my little girl's head, and I'll be back to give you a whole new meaning to the term split ends. Keep the faith, baby. They haven't heard the last from us. Oh, Tracy is so lucky we get out of that algebra final. arrested for trying to integrate an after-school, sock up type television show. Yes, there are names, and Hallmark does not make a card for any of them. You, you can't worry about people calling you names. You know how many 
times I've been called crazy. Ha! <laughs> ah! What are you doing? Anyway, we haven't abandoned Tracy just yet. In fact, I think I've got just the thing to help her. Right here. Stand, sit back. Stand farther down. What do you think? <laughs> Isn't she a doozy? Impressive? But how's that thing gonna help our Tracy? You'll be surprised. Oh, sure. You're a visionary inventor saving the day. Tracy's a teen idol reshaping the nation. But who am I? I used to have a dream too, you know. I used to make all my own clothes, remember? Until I wandered beyond the boundaries of the largest Pakal's pattern. But, but I always dreamed well, I would put on my own line of queen-sized dress patterns. You were good at no? Yeah, where's that gotten me? Twenty years later, I'm still ironing and mending other people's clothing. Well, one day, Edna. No? No, Dave Wilbur. My time has come and gone. I'm like a half-filled book full of green stems. Beyond redemption. Oh, Wilbur, I suddenly feel so old. Old? Nonsense, dog! The sky is a slippy! Every moment of me is like grabbing hold of a giant joint buzzer! Keep a changing, the world's rearranging, but Edna, your time must help me. Headlines are shorter, a beer costs a quarter, but time cannot take what comes free. You're like a fatal disease, babe, but there's no cure, so let this be the way. Some folks can stand it, say not in a bag, and while taking offers in view.
Lake Larkin on the shelf. Wait, I'm right here. Shh, the guard's asleep. Oh, gee. You look beautiful behind bars. You must be the low of institutional lighting. Link, what are you doing here? Tracy, seeing you dragged off to jail brought me back to my senses. I thought I'd lose it when I thought I lost you. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sing. I couldn't even concentrate. You couldn't eat? No. That's why I went down to the station to tell Miss Von Tunsil that I was through with the Miss Hairspray broadcast. You did? I did it. When I got to the station, Tracy, I heard Miss Von Tunsil talking to Spritzer. It's Amber the Patalan still trying to get a seat. But it had nothing to do with me. I feel like such an idiot. That makes two of us. I know a palooka like me isn't worthy of a groundbreaking extremist like you, but it's a little scuffed from Amber throwing it at my face when I told her I'd rather be with you. You did? I did. So, would you consider wearing my ring? Would I? Oh, would I? To lose thee! To lose myself. Some kid named Milton wrote that on the third floor boys' room. It's beautiful. I have a good life. Great parents, my own room, a stack of 25, three sweaters, plus the learning room that goes through August.
Well, I have this lighter, and this can of hair spray, too. Oh, Lincoln, what a special night to bring and our very own glow torch. Once 
and you failed. We can't get lazy when things get crazy. Children, you are not the first to try and you will not be the last. But I'm here to tell you that I'm going to keep lining up until someday somebody breaks through. And I'm going to that door a lot longer than you have. What door? The front door. Thank you.
turn black and declare you Miss Teenage Hairspray 1962! Just like you can't stop my life and walk when I see a Christmas tree. 